Well, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to another Thursday edition uh, of the solo revisits of Dale. Sounds a bit grand when I say it like that, doesn't it? But it's really not that grand. Um, it's just another day of me trawling around pubs in another little town. Uh, I'm in Sutton in Ashfield, uh, which is just down from Mansfield. I love Mansfield, uh, as you know. Uh, whew, Sutton in Ashfield, what can I say about that? Sutton in Ashfield uh, is actually the lucky host of the worst pub I've ever been in in my entire life, um, the Bluebell. It's no longer there as a pub anyway. It uh, also accidentally caught fire uh, a few weeks ago. So um, I'm interested to see what's left of it. Uh, most of the building I, I understand is still there, but yeah, definitely not as a pub anymore. Um, I will tell the story when we get to the Bluebell as to why it was the worst pub um, I've ever been in. So that's going to be a, an interesting one for you. Uh, but I've got 20 pubs to get through today, possibly 21 because I think I might be able to get into Fire Rock after all. I've got to give the guy a ring in a minute, so I will get off here. Starting my, there's a lot of outskirts here. So I'm in Skegby, part of Sutton at the moment. Uh, and I'm going to start here at the Fox and Crown. Great big Green King style pub on a whopping great junction. I've got a lot of walking to do today. A lot of pubs to get. I'm excited. Start number one, the Fox and Crown. Let's go and have a beer. Classic big Green King. Uh, it's a flaming grill brand. It's, it's two o'clock on a Thursday. Uh, and it's pretty busy. Um, got the uh, classic amber ale, lilies and things on the bar and stuff in here. I've got one of the Lily's Peach. They also have the Tropical and stuff on there. Didn't see that, so I probably would have gone for that. But yeah, pool table and stuff on one side. Not sure about the Sheffield Wednesday flag, although I do like Sheffield Wednesday, much better than Sheffield United. TV and stuff, decent menu, friendly staff, dog friendly. It's, it's a decent pub this. Um, yeah, good good place for me to start uh, and I've got a, a long way to go. Uh, gone for half a Peach Lily's, £2.65, Green King prices. But you know, it's what it is. So. Long day ahead of me yet. Get this down me. For a Green King, I said, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest Green King fan in the world, but I do think that, that is a, a really decent pub. Uh, I'm in Skegby. So it's about a 10 minute walk to the Rifle Volunteer. Uh, I remember really loving this. It was a really, really good pub. It's a, a real locals pub. This was one that was highly recommended to us last time. Uh, and I totally got in there and I was, I was like, yeah, I understand why everybody says that this is such a good pub. So I'm very much looking forward to being back in. So stop number two, the Rifle a Volunteer. You can't go wrong with pubs like this. I've gone for half a cold river in here, keep a, keeping up a little cider theme for me uh, for me day so far. Half £1.50. Mad that. It's a lovely bar area. Got pool table and stuff in the back room up there, big TV. This is always packed with locals. Got Timothy Taylor's landlord on. A decent enough tap selection, big screens. It's a, it's a good pub, this. Dart around the corner. I, uh, I very much liked it in there last time, and uh, yeah, still do. Top pub. Lovely, lovely pub, the rifle. Um, really not far to get to the next one either. Two minutes uh, walk, if that. You can literally see the rifle from Forest Tavern. It's Marston's pub. Um, I don't believe it's uh, a proper mate, it's a, a tenanted Marston's house. And I, again, I remember really liking this pub the last time we were in here. So let's go and see if anything's changed. Forest Tavern up next. Lovely pub, so it's just been taken over. Uh, James, uh, just behind me, in the area, over my shoulder, is the new landlord. Been here a week. Uh, wish him well with this. It's a lovely pub, this. Uh, the old landlord here was a Leicester fan. Ooh. I remember it's had a bit of banner in it, but it's a big old pub, this. So you've got this this one side on a, on here, on the bar, and then in the other side, got the old, the general room, with a pool table, and stuff like that. A lot quieter in this side, unless you're at weekends. You've got the dartboard, and bits and pieces. Lovely Marie taps them, aren't they? San Miguel. There are no hand pulls on, which is a little, uh, a little surprising for the area, I suppose. Good looking jukebox and stuff. Yeah, wish, uh, wish James all the best with this. Lovely pub, glad to be back in here. Uh, I had half a Guinness in here, £2.20. That's not bad, is it? So, about a 15 minute or so walk um, to, this is my only new one of the day that I'm aware of, so I've not done this one before. It's a snooker and social club. Uh, not been, not been, didn't even know this existed until someone said yesterday on the Facebook page to, uh, to come and visit. So I had not been. Triple S, Super and Social Club. The, uh, the butcher's in the, uh, in the car park. So you, can, you can come up here, have some meat. You know me. I'll have a good bit of meat. Um, looks nice. They all seem friendly. So uh, this is stop four of the day so far. Triple S, Super and Social Club. Come on, this is three o'clock on a Thursday afternoon. We've got plenty of, uh, plenty of action going on there. Plenty of tables, which is great to see. We've got pool table and stuff in the bar. 
Decent bar area. There's another pool table down in the other room by the things to, uh, to the back. Uh, $1.95 for half a Guinness. That's pretty cheap. Uh, five pound minimum card spend. So luckily I did have some cash, but quite often I don't. Um, just because of what I do and you go through it quite quickly. So it's annoying when you find a five pound minimum spend on a card machine. Uh, it is what it is, but yeah, it's a nice, uh, a nice friendly little club. Uh, and a new one on me that I haven't done before. So glad to take it off. Kind of amazed to see how busy that snooker club is. At least seven of those snooker tables occupied at three o'clock on a uh, Thursday afternoon. That can't be bad, can it? And people say snooker clubs are struggling, so really good to see. Whew, it's uh, about a 10 minute walk or so up to Stanton Hill area um, of Sutton. Uh, and this is called Stanton Hill Progress. Uh, it looks a bit like a house from the outside. I assume that at some point it was. Uh, social club friendly looking little place. Last time I was in again as well. So this is actually stop five. I bypassed the Rose and Crown for now because I'm not sure I need to double check if it's open already or it doesn't happen until four. So. I'll check that one in a minute. So stop five, Stanton Hill at Progressive Club. Like a house from the outside, but it's very modern for the club. Very clean and tidy. You can watch the sport and stuff. Clean and tidy little club. It's a pool table in the other the back room and stuff. But yeah, it's always it's always a, it's a really friendly, smiley little place. Most of this round there is to be honest. It's really friendly, all rounds. The Rose and Crown is open, you know. Uh, yeah, Stanton Hill Progressive Club. It's a really nice little club. It's very modern feeling inside, considering what it looks like from the outside. It's just like an old house. Um, so they've made really good use of it. Last thing there's really friendly. People are really friendly. It's a nice little club. Um, right, I'm further in on so this one again. Look at this beautiful old pub. It's got a big, ha uh, brand new sort of housing estate just there next to it. But this beautiful old, beautiful old pub building, the Rose and Crown, is, uh, is a lovely little place. This is. Uh, I don't know who that was. I, I get honked out all the time. I feel like a celebrity, <laughs> as if. Um, yeah, the, the people that run this were absolutely lovely. So, I did a bit of karaoke in here, I think, last time we were here. So, hopefully there's no karaoke on today. It's a bit early on a Thursday afternoon for that, but, you know, Rising Crown's up next. Right, lovely to be back in here. Uh, so, it's been taken over by new people. John and Teresa took this place over about 13 weeks ago, and it is still, oh, but now feels like it's got the old traditional vibe and feel back to it. So, you've got the pool table and stuff up that end. This is the, the more sort of noisy part. It's dog friendly in here, and they're lovely. But this is gonna be the real gem. Give us a wave. Go on, give us a wave, that eye, give us a wave, see? Right, this is gonna be their real gem. So, bread and herring cask room. So as it says there, they're making this into a cask room. So anybody who, who sort of knows where I am in the, in the area, Sutton and Ashfield, it was an old mining town. Uh, and all the, there were loads of pits and loads of mines all the way around here. This belongs to one of the old miners from the Sutton colliery. Uh, and he still drinks in here, which is nice to see. So in this back room, this is gonna be the cask room. I'm gonna have four hand pulls on in it, it's a work in progress at the moment, they're only just doing it. So I'm gonna pop back and see it once it's done. What a beautiful, beautiful little room this is now turning. So the old fireplace is back. Obviously there's no chimney there anymore, but doing their best with it. I can't come back and see how they get on with this. Lovely people, salt of the earth. And this is really giving something back to the local areas of local people. Top notch, loving this. I'll tell you what, John and Teresa, they are lovely people. Uh, and I really wish them all the best with that as well. It's amazing how much has changed in Sutton. It's been sort of the 18 months that I haven't been backed for. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they're lovely. But that car screen, that is a wonderful idea, especially dedicated to the miners. That is something I really, really do think will really be nice for people like that. It's really good. So uh, I'm sort of still going around it. I'm back now at the new cross. So this is pub number seven. Whopping great pub this is, again. Big function room and stuff at the back of it. And uh, it was, uh, this was definitely what I would uh, class as a party pub. Last time I was in here, really good fun, really good people. Stop number seven for me, the new cross. So this is exactly what I remember. This is this is a full time sort of party atmosphere pub. It's, it's one of the, like, the thing with Sutton is, especially in places like this, it's so friendly. It's an old selection of stuff on the bar. Look at those VKs, three for six pounds. You can't go wrong with stuff like that, can you? Getting an, uh, getting an AU vodka pump in very soon, as well, I'm told by the landlady who sat right over here. AU vodka pump coming. Which will be nice. So, lovely pub. It's, it's got a massive function room and stuff down uh, down the other end of the pub. But it's, it's just salt of the earth people. Uh, salt of the earth. I mean, so I said £1.50 for half of this cold creek earlier was cheap. £1.35 in here. <sighs> I could get absolute twatted in here and not go anywhere else, can I? It might happen yet. Yeah? Watch this space. Honestly, the guys that run a new cross are absolutely superb. It is a lovely, uh, it's a friend, lovely. I said, I, I'm using the word friendly a lot today, aren't I? But that's what I think Sutton is. I think it's a, a, a really friendly little town. I'll tell you something that wasn't friendly though. Look where I am. Anyone that's there followed the page for a while would have read that the worst pub I ever went in was the Blue Burn in Sutton and Ashfield. Well, I'm at the Blue Burn in Sutton and Ashfield. I'm looking at it all boarded up now, which is, um, 
I would say it's a shame because I never like to see uh, a healthy pub put to sleep, but this wasn't a healthy pub. But the old roof, look, the roof where it accidentally caught fire. Rumour has it the grow in the uh, in the loft might have caught fire. I didn't, you didn't hear that from me. Well, you did, but you know, I, I don't know if that's true or not. That's one of the rumours that goes around. So it might be, it might not be. But what a, uh, what a sterling pub this truly wasn't. Um, it had patio furniture, no real furniture. Um, just all the glass panes in the in the doors and stuff inside were all broken at the time we went in. It was just a hellhole. I referred to it in my uh, in my review. I said this is what I imagine a crack den must look like at four o'clock in the morning. I told people it was dodgy, and then a few weeks ago, after their planning permission for tenant in the flats got denied, apparently it accidentally caught fire, and the bit that was listed so that the planning permission didn't go through, the bit had burned down. Call me sceptical. I mean, I am. Anyway, let's get on with our day. Luckily for me, even though the Bluebell has closed down, it's only a mere two minute walk further down the road until you reach the speed the plow. This was a lovely little boozer run by a lovely old couple. They're a little bit karaoke going again last time while I was here. All the, uh, all the regulars singing a bit of Dean Martin and Bing Crosby. Can't go wrong with a bit of Dean Martin, can ya? Uh, yeah, so speed the plow, stop number eight of the day. I'm nearly halfway through, aren't I? That's what I like to say. Yeah. Like, nah, bit of local, bit of local on the uh, on the thing. Got some good old choices in here. When he first started up, I was lovely little pub. This. When he first started up, I... lovely little pub. This. Good ideas and stuff in here. But, uh, on a Monday, in here, a guitar workshop going. Open mic night. They said they're so busy in here they can barely fit another person in. Quizzes, karaoke. That's what I mean. This is what you need in here. You need local pubs doing extra little bits to get people in. It's brilliant to see. I love this pub. I, I absolutely love Mandy Salt of the Earth, the, uh, the lady that runs the Speed the Plough, and she's doing a lot for charity. I'm going to be back in March and come and support a charity thing she's doing. Uh, more details to follow. But it's a really good cause, uh, and it's definitely something I want to be a part of uh, and think that we would like to support and raise awareness of. And this is my sort of fire. Well, as you can see where it is, all that car park uh, and everything. And it is called the Kings Mill Farm. Big old farmhouse inns, booze, I said, massive great car park. It's right on that, uh, there's a McDonald's and stuff on the on the roundabout and things are there. Massive great pub. Is what it is, chain, uh, farmhouse inns, chains pub, so should be an easy in and out this one, shouldn't it? Stuff always looks good. Uh, if decent enough, meat selection and things like that. But this is one uh, This is one thing that gets me, but look at that. That is a queue to get to the bar. So it's the food queue, you have to stand in the food queue um, to get a drink, which is ridiculous to me. But just a queuing system, like they do it such a bad way, they do the bar and thing. It's a real shame to see because you wouldn't be encouraged to come and have a drink if you had to queue up like that in a, in a queue of people ordering food to get a drink. Really bad way of doing it. Bye. Right. <laughs> to go back around the outskirts, far too far to walk, so I jumped in a cab. Uh, this would have been a 40 minute walk from where I was, but doing something here and navigating it, getting around can be trying at times. Um, especially this time of night, but yeah, jumps in a cab from Kingsmill. Six minutes in a cab, brings us to the junction. I mean, it looks like this should be some kind of Indian restaurant or something from the outside, doesn't it? Lovely, lovely decking area, stuff like that. But it's quite surprising inside, it's quite a decent pub in there. So this is top 10, so I'm technically halfway through, although I am going to do Fire Rock, so technically not halfway through. Junction up next. It's two sides, so you've got sort of a bar, more of a bar area on the other side. This this side in here, it's more dining. Um, that over there, it's, it's, he's, he's working in the bar, he's doing the he's doing the orders, doing the stuff like that. But yeah, more dining side on this side. Decent enough lager selection. Look, Peroni, Estrella, for Campo Moretti. You can't really knock all that. Okay, there's no handfuls on in here, but it is a decent sized gaff. Uh, yeah, with the the sort of the room on the other side, you around to where uh, the sort of the bar area is. So I think it's pops open on that side as well. But yeah, it's deceptive inside once you get it. Nothing like you would expect it to look from the outside. Oh, well, I'm nearly there now, aren't oh, no. I? That's a much more sensible walk. Five minutes up the road uh, brings you to Scruffy Dog Brew Pub. Um, I remember they doing a really good pizza menu and stuff in here as well. Uh, but this is your proper sort of brew house, real ale drinkers pub on this side of town. Dog friendly, as you would expect. Uh, and I remember absolutely loving it in here. So very excited to be back inside. Scruffy dog up next. This is such a lovely, look at some of the buff. I said, they don't have to go very far to, uh, to see the beers and stuff they've gone. I've just had half of this pooch mooch, which was absolutely superb. We've got a good selection of stuff on the uh, thing. But it's what I, like. I like. I like bread and butter pubs that literally they, they, they brew their own stuff. 
they appeal to their own local customer and they, and they give so much back. So the pizza, there's a pizza station in the back room uh, back there. There's some great looking pizzas. They smell divine as well. It's just a, it's just a wonderful little pub. It might be a little walk out of the outskirts of Sutton. But honestly, come and support this place because it's brilliant. It's just brilliant. I absolutely, I loved it last time. I love it again today. It's Gruffy Dog. This uh, half a pooch mooch as well sent me back one pound sixty. I mean, very little over it to carry it from the back to the front and there. But yeah, one pound sixty, and it's pretty good. Mm. Chef's kiss. <sighs> right, I'm literally on the wind down at the outskirts now. We'll almost be in the uh, the town centre of Sutton very, very soon. So my next couple is rest. And my buddy Rich should already be in here waiting for me like a trooper. A beautiful old pub building this, isn't it? But honestly, you won't find many more beautiful pub buildings than this. A lovely, lovely outdoor space and stuff on the front as well. Old school looking pub. And uh, yeah, from what I remember, I absolutely loved it in here as well. It was a really lovely pub. You know, I said, Sutton is nowhere near as bad as people say it is, is it? You can see from what I've been around today, top boozers. I will try. Here he is. Look at him. The man of a, the man of a million names. You know, if you ever try to be friends with one of his Facebook accounts, I'll be changing his name or change the account every other week. So I wouldn't even bother. Lovely, lovely boozer and this. Good selection of stuff. You've got Wayne Wright's on one of the hand pulls and stuff. Bit of dining goes on on this side. We're going to go into the back room because there's another on this on this side where you can see through there. Uh, another sort of whole whole other side of this pub. Beautiful old pub. Plenty, plenty going on, plenty to offer, and they're literally just up on the on the main roundabout, and then we're in. We're going to be in Sutton Town Centre after that. I feel like I've been around the houses. I've been right around the houses today, but it's going to be nice to be in the town centre in a minute, and not have to worry about miles and miles to get to pubs. But you know, uh, this is stop 13. I'm not doing too bad, you know. Look at that young, youthful complexion. Uh, alcohol pickles you apparently, but I'm doing alright. Pub 13, Travellers Rest. Good to see him. Hey. <laughs> Cracking on, cracking on. Right, we're now, literally, we are walking towards the town centre. We're nearly, 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 nearly in the actual town centre bit, but this is so much, so much less walking, so much less faffing about than before. Life. Next. One time, I remember, someone drove their car through the very front of this um, and put a big dent in it. Uh, and there was, a, there was an old landlord who ran off uh, with a load of staff wages without paying them and stuff like that. So he said it's chequered past, let's say that. But, um, hey, you know, friendly as hell and back on the right track these days. Pub number 14 of the day, he's along for the ride now. Pub number 14 for the day, staff for life. So, proper proper locals pub. Um, uh, what, you, what you'd expect on the outskirts of a, of a town centre. You're not going to find it, you're not going to find the handballs and stuff in here. We've got, uh, he's got the old Theakstons going on, Theakstons Mild. They're very good. Very good. Very good, very good. I've got a Guinness, uh, stuff like that. But it's, um, it's a big spread out type boozer in here. It's a locals pub, but again, I, I'm going to harp on the word again, friendly. It's just a friendly locals place that anyone can walk into and feel feel accepted and welcome and sit down on it. And that is that is the running theme with Sutton. It gets such a bad rep, really, without really being justified, because I haven't found a single place in Sutton so far that's been unwelcoming. I mean, even the Bluebell welcomed me in. I mean, I know it's closed down and it's got a hole in the roof, but you know, even the Bluebell was welcoming this time. You might be able to tell that the, uh, the rain started. So yeah, I knew I'd get wet somewhere. I always do, didn't I? That's the, that's the joy. The joy. I love what I do. I love my job. I don't. No, I do. I do. I love talking to you guys. I love my job. But I'm, we are getting wet now. So, we, uh, it's, a, it's a two minute walk. We saw we walked. Two minute walk from the staff alive. The White Swan. Marston's again. Marston's brandy, but it's not, uh, it's not your typical Marston's house. It's a tenanted house. Proper, proper locals beer drinkers place. The bus station's right behind me. McDonald's, which I will probably become very familiar with, is just over there. So the White Swan, I think this is stop 15 of the day. White Swan up next. So now we're dirt cheap, mate. So two quid half a Guinness in here. So we both had half a Guinness. But yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't be priced like this. What I mean, right by the bus station. So it's obviously, it's busting for people to get on the bus. Tables. Got one pool table. And another pool table. Lovely, it's, it's, it's right, it's, it, it, it's honestly, if I had to catch a bus from Sutton, I'd probably end up in here and miss my bus. That's the problem. You won't find any handballs stuff in here, but you've got Moretti, uh, Guinea, you've got all the, all the classics, like I said. But these prices, you can't knock it, can you? And yeah, great transport links. Not a massive walk, so you wander around the corner, past the bus station, you've got KFC and McDonald's and stuff there. Uh, the picture house, which you might be able to guess, even without me telling you, this used to be the cinema screen for... Obviously these days, all things like Odeon, Cineworld and stuff has uh, taken all the trade away from these local independent cinemas that the majority of them have gone tits up, which is a shame. But I'm not the biggest Weatherspoons fan in the world, but at least they are making use of some beautiful old buildings and this is one. So Picture House is stop number, I'm going to say 16, I might be wrong, I'm going to say 16. You count better than I do, so I don't know. <laughs> Picture House. 
Oh, we're in weather spots. I said the, the gaffer from here, uh, he commented on a, uh, on a Facebook yesterday saying, I'm not in, but the staff will look after you. To be fair, the staff are looking after us. I know. The staff, are, the staff are looking after us. So we're having a chat, we're having a chat about the real hours and stuff. They've got uh, Ruddle's Best on at £1.79 a pint. I mean, under, under a quid for an half. Uh, it's not me question here, so I've never had a Ruddle's Best, so uh, the lad, he's gone, oh, do you want to try a bit? So we've got a bit, so we're going to try this together. So here we are. So we've both got a little little snifter of Ruddle's Best. Chin. Chin, yeah, chin chin. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not going to... It's nothing to write home about. It's nothing no, to write home about. But, but, will be, yeah. but you know what? A one pound seventy nine a pint. You could come in and get twatted on eighteen quid. Twat, even I could get semi drunk on eighteen quid. <laughs> in there. So you can't, you can't really knock it, can it? I mean, it's the carpet. It's the carpet. A bit regal. A bit all right. But decent enough ample selection and stuff in here. So I say it's been an old cinema building. Okay, it's all the way back. It look, I mean, it looks like an old cinema building, doesn't it? So it is. It is what it is. But um, yeah, staff are friendly. Um, bit of an aftertaste on that. It's not. It's not the worst. <laughs> It's not the worst, but, you know, uh, it, it's nice to try new things. I'm always up for trying new things. Just don't tell my wife. Uh, so I'm wandering up to uh, Fire Rock, which is one of my favourite pubs in Sun. It really is. It's a beautiful place. They, so they make a lot of their own beer, do a lot of brewing. So we're here. Outside. They, they don't open on Thursdays, but guys in my game, it's not what you know, it's who you know, isn't it? And Neil has very kindly offered to, uh, to let us in to, so that we can make sure we can get this in the big, because it would be such a shame to do something and not do this. So we're going to go round about, we're going to get in Fire Rock and I'll show you inside in just a minute. Right, so I said this is, this is, this is, it's really nice one to uh, have let us in to, to be, but I wanted to show you a beautiful little space anyway. This is, this is one of the most beautiful, honestly, it's one of the most beautiful pubs you'll find anywhere in the country, not just in, um, not just in some, but anywhere in the country. I mean, some of the can station I've got and stuff going on here. Neil Raptor, the old Neil Raptor selection. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be on to Dave Rowe tomorrow, like, well, forget me some of these, but you know, look at some of the, some of the can selection they've got in here. So, I get, I get the opening hours are not full for the week because it, they, they brew a lot of their own. So they've all full time jobs as well. So they can't, can't be in here to please me, can they? But I mean, <laughs> ironically, they are tonight just in here to please. You can hear the laughter, can't you? But you know, right, they're in here to please me. But look at this, look at I mean, I, can you understand how long I could spend in here getting absolutely twatted? It would be ridiculous, <laughs> wouldn't it? So it's gorgeous. But they've also done us, look. So we're presented with this, uh, this wonderful little flight board. So the first four on here. Are their own uh, their own brewed beers. You see that nine percent as well, don't you? Because I do. Yeah, <laughs> you see that. You can see that. Feel the rhythm. Nine percent. Can't wait to get my lips around that. And look, look what they've bunged in for me down here. Look, a Vault City, six point four percent. Yeah. Anyone think that they? Anyone think that they wanted me to uh, to die or something? But you know. So, well, I couldn't come to Sutton and not get in here. So I'm so glad that we have because this is one you should come over to not just to, to to go. You should come over purposely to come here because it's such a great place. There's such good people that run it. It's just a lovely, lovely pub, and <laughs> I'm going to go and drink my flight board. Here we go. I can't say good enough things about Fire Rock um, in general because they're such a, they're such a wonderful place. So they are moving brewery so that they can cope with more volume of business. But I mean, I've I've got one of these to take home with me. Feel the rhythm. Nine percent sour. <laughs> it's it's pretty epic. Pretty epic. So we're walking back into the town now. I've got um four. Oh, I've got four left to do. I think so. Uh, next stop is the Oasis Lounge Bar. Uh, this is a this is a late night party venue, so completely stark different from from Far Rock. But they're just they're just such wonderful people, and seriously, their beers, their beers are amazing. And it's just it's just nice to see something like that growing, like organically growing, um, and, and doing so well. So I, I I really appreciate the fact they opened for us tonight. I'm really glad that we've been able to get in there. I'm so looking forward to getting home and drinking this extra. Oasis Sports, uh, Oasis Lounge Bar is up next. I've got, I think I've got three to do from here, so then I would have done the entirety of Sutton. So, you know, I've not done too bad today. That'll be, that'll be 21 by the time I'm done. So this is 18, 18. Right, so I, I'm in, I'm in Oasis Lounge. This is one of the ones where I, <laughs> I remember coming around last time in Sutton and thinking, this is chappy late night venue where you're going to see a little bit of toilet activity, a little bit of smell in the toilet because the, the, he had that kind of reputation where look at this guy how cute is he this guy Paul over and stuff in the face but it, uh, so Merv has now it was, it's been his seven years but it's been taken back on to the point where they've now 
Oh, yeah. selection on the one I've gone. I'm still being with that. I'm still being with that. I'm still being with that. If I was getting, if I was getting, if I was getting anybody's fat side, I'd be me. I want to. Yeah, but it's um, no, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice friendly gap now. And to be honest, it, it's no, it feels, it feels a lot different than it did 18 months ago. Last time I come in, and it's nice to, it's nice to see. Um, let's, honest, honestly, let's come and support these guys because it now feels like it could be a, a potentially really good late night venue for the town. It's just down with Fire Rock as well. Um, I like it. To be honest, they've, uh, the improvement in it is clear to see. I, I, honestly, uh, Oasis surprised me because last time we were there, it was it was Chavi, it was Drug Central, and it really wasn't that friendly or appealing. Uh, but Merv's taking it back now, <laughs> and it, yeah, they're only up until half eleven, so not late. Never apparently they never had a late license, which shocks me because I always thought they did. But it's friendly now, and we should definitely give them a chance and go in a sim. So nice to see. Right. I'm three away. I'm three away. I'm three away from a McDonald's and going home. So we're up to the craft, uh, the craft union pub of Sutton. And uh, again, recently taken on in the last few months uh, by new people who uh, have been uh, very supportive of our page. So I'm looking forward to being back in there and see what it is. Um, I might even have a blue wicked in there, you know. I probably, I probably, I probably will have a blue wicked in there, you know. Just, I a Shut up, will ya? I need a palate cleanser, you know that. Uh, yeah, three down. Or th not three down, several down, three to go. Nags head up next. Craft Union Booze, right? It's, it's a massive, massive pub. Um, actually, it's got a decent old, um, decent old selection of stuff. Um, no hampers, which would be Craft Union. So, look down, what a massive, you can watch the sport any way you like in it. Luke Littler did just lose the girl in prize, and I'm not happy about that. However, right. So, uh, hear me out a minute. So, Craft Union have basically said to me that, apparently, via, via the last that runs this, Craft Union want to do a, uh, they want to team up with me and do a Christmas single for Jerry. I mean, I haven't even heard me sing yet, so. I don't know. If you, if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments. But Craft Union is like 100% of Jerry, nothing like the, the rest of the other charity singles we got. 100%, 100% of the points go to Jerry. I don't want anything about it. Should we do this? Honestly, should we do this? Please say no. Say what you like, but please say no. Uh, this was another trek to be honest, from where we are. But well suggested to me, so I definitely should have come to. It is called Duke of Sussex. I promise it's called Duke of Sussex. You don't necessarily have to uh, see the, uh, the busing. Uh, I think I've got to walk around the back to get in. But yeah, well suggested. Uh, 10 to 10. It's the 20th, 20th stop of the day. So we're going to see what we can get in. So I just made it here because if you don't come early, they might shut early. But you know, just, that just gives you more reasons to get down here and make sure you're here to begin to support pubs because if pubs aren't busy at a time they will shut and you won't make it but I made it that's the important thing I made it and so uh, we've got a couple of real hours and stuff on at the moment however on a weekend you'll have four or five it's a lovely big booze of this look at it it's a lovely great pub it does, it does some great food during the week and stuff like that it's got Gerwin Price playing Luke Humphreys I mean I can't think of anything less I'd rather watching darts but I love darts and these are two people that I wouldn't uh, spit on if they were on fire but it's a, look at it, it's a lovely great big poster. I've had uh, I've had a half ring neck amber ale and it is uh, it's pretty nice to be honest. I'm very, very impressed with this. Lovely landlords, great booze. That, this is what I mean. If if pubs aren't busy when it gets to like half nine, ten o'clock, they're gonna shut early. So make sure you get down here or you won't catch them. Because I nearly didn't. But I'm glad I did. Final portal final one. Apparently they might shut at ten, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna go in and find out. So the final one will the hungry horse called a snipe. Let's go and find out together. Final problem tonight, the snipe. So I've done them, uh, 21, uh, including, including Fire Up, which wasn't supposed to be open tonight. Lovely to have got through it. Pleased with myself to have got through it. Can't wait for my uh, Uber to be here. Win price to Luke Humphries. I'm still not impressed with it. A massive, great, hungry horse pub. Um, you know, it's what it is. Uh, I'm finishing all the dark fruit because I don't know. I'm a bit beard out. But thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's been it's been wonderful. Um, Sutton isn't as bad as you think, is it? So it's very spread out. You can't you can't necessarily go for a night out without getting taxis or a lift or being more spread out to do all of what I've done today. But you know what, it's got some great pubs, especially Fire Rock. You can't stress that enough. Uh, especially that. So 
do give Sutton a chance if no one in his bad spit say is thanks for watching guys see you soon uh, after Grimsby tomorrow we dad loves food look him up on Facebook if you don't know who he is dad loves food it's going to be it's going to be a mess it's going to be a great day though cheers guys see ya.